Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching the Riedel Director how-to video series. Today we'll be covering the Crosspoint View what the view is, and what are some common icons within the crosspoint view and what they represent. First, let's talk about crosspoints. A crosspoint is a point at which the input or source is routed to the destination. You can hear another explanation of a crosspoint by watching the Andy Explains video from the Riedel Communications YouTube channel. When you're in charge of programming and monitoring intercoms, you need to be able to see the active communication happening within the matrix. Utilizing the crosspoint view, we can see the crosspoints in our system and whether they're active or inactive. We can use this window to troubleshoot any unwanted routing that may have occurred during programming or double check our current routing. The crosspoint view allows you to see the different types of communication happening within your matrix by utilizing different icons for different functions. It will help you differentiate between an always on, vox, on call, or a button press of a panel. We are only going to cover a handful of the icons in this video, and I highly encourage you to page through the Riedel Director Manual to view all the different icons and what their associations mean within the Crosspoint View window. To view the crosspoints in our system, we need to be connected to the artist frame. Here we can see that we are connected, as we have a node that is online. If you are interested in learning how to connect to your system, please watch the Connect to Matrix video. In this example, we have a few AIO ports, four Bolero belt packs, and one panel communicating in the matrix. If the system is active with users or active routes, we'll be able to see them in the crosspoint view, which you can find in the toolbar. The icon is a green next and a yellow circle, and if you hover over it, it will say crosspoint view. Click on the icon to open the crosspoint view window. You initially won't see any ports in the sources or destination view. We can simply add sources and destinations of our choosing by drag and dropping ports, groups, or conferences to the window. We can also create a customized configuration or simply add all the ports in the matrix to the window. Clicking add all ports adds all of the ports in the matrix to the crosspoint view even if there's no active communication happening. If we only want to see ports with active crosspoints, we simply check this box. If we wish to customize this window or change the layout of the sources and destinations, then we can click configure. This opens up a new window where we can customize the layout, add or delete ports from the sources and destinations. We can also save the setup to be loaded at another time. We can easily load a previous setup by clicking load setup and choosing a past layout. Click OK to go back to your crosspoint view. To clear the current layout, you can click clear at any time. As you can see, there is active communication happening within the matrix. You'll notice that there are different shapes and icons associated with different functions occurring within your matrix. If you're chasing a crosspoint issue, you can freeze the view at any time to see what is happening at that particular moment. This can be a very useful troubleshooting technique to help you discover routes that should not be active. To unfreeze the view, click Freeze View again, and you'll see that the active routes are changing. Let's take a closer look at the colors and icons within the crosspoint view. A gold color indicates the crosspoint was activated by a call to conference. Gray indicates this was a call to port. Green indicates a listen to port. And blue is a call to group. A filled icon indicates this was activated by a key. A ring indicates an always on command. An X indicates a Vox trigger. And the small green triangle is typically associated with an IFB listen to port. If we hover over the source, we get a more detailed explanation of the cross-point communication that's happening. On Matt's source, we see the destination he's calling as well as the type of command. If we look at Jared on a destination, we see the sources that are calling to him and the types of command which are reaching him. We can see that he's listening to a port, he's being called to by two different users within the same group, and he's also being reached on a call to conference. You can also right-click on any open cross-point and force the crosspoint open for communication. 
a yellow plus sign will indicate this was forced open in Director. To kill the cross point, you can right click and kill cross point. This is a great troubleshooting technique to verify there is signal flow, but this should not be used in your current configuration and only be used for troubleshooting. You can also hover over between any of the cross points with active communication to see any other information associated with that cross point. The cross point view is a very useful troubleshooting and monitoring window to ensure that the correct sources are being routed to the correct destinations. I always leave this window open while I'm monitoring my intercom system to verify those signals in case there are any issues so I can troubleshoot the problem quickly and effectively. Please share what you use the Crosspoint view for in the comments below to help other users better understand the functionality and importance of this window. Thank you for watching this Riedel Director how-to video and remember to subscribe to see new content in the future.